Hey guys, I'm Grace. And I'm Sam. And welcome to Gate Youth. This is a special edition of The Horizon. I was in my kitchen, I just finished breakfast, and I was going upstairs to put on my clothes, and my parents called me back down, and they said, Sam, your friend from church, Ronnie, has gone missing. Fear, family, and volunteers are trying to find a missing teenager in Fort Worth. The missing boy. Nightfall did not slow the search for Fort Worth teen missing since Thursday. And this is not typical for him. No, no, he, he always says, I will check in. But 16-year-old Ronnie Howard disappeared on his daily neighborhood walk in West Fort Worth. When his mother dialed her son's cell phone, somebody else answered and began screaming at her. F you and the B word and some other profanities. And it was just horrible. I, I can't even describe the feeling that it caused to hear that on my son's phone. At that time, my heart just went out to the family because I am a mom. And all I could think of was what if this was my child and I was looking for them and didn't know where they were. I felt as though I was hopeless. I don't know. I couldn't, I felt like I couldn't do anything. With every moment I had that I could stop to work, I would stop and just pray for him and pray for the people that were looking for him. And volunteers got to work, fighting their way through dry creek beds and hanging flyers. We went back, we searched for about three hours, a good three hours all through the creeks. Um, and I walked down almost every street on Chapel Creek. As soon as I could, I went and I joined the search party and me and my family wandered around acres of hills for hours. We went to Blue Haze and you know, everybody was there and we were like, we're gonna go and search for a game. You know, at 10 o'clock, we were just praying hard and hard, and then I felt this peace in my heart, and, you know, like God was saying, everything's going to be all right, and Ronnie's going to come home safe and sound. About 15 minutes later, they have an update, and it shows pictures, and we all sort of, you know, set up, we're all still watching, and they say, Ronnie Howard has been found alive. And so it was a really big relief when I saw it in the news. Um, when God reaches out and touches something like this, it's... So many people are involved, and when it's a brilliant, happy ending like this and everything's safe, it's only him that can do that. My reaction was, I was like jumping on the couch. I was so, so, so excited. I even called some of my friends to tell them that he was safe and he was okay. And I was just thanking God. That was, that was so cool. I was just so happy. Just thank God, praise God every moment you can. Hold on to him. Um, it would be hard to let go <laughs> right now, I know, but now's the time that you let everyone that was involved thank them and show them that God was the one who did all this. I never stopped praying for you, Ronnie. I'm really glad God brought you home. We love you, Ronnie.